stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. What's going on, everybody? Short clips from the Louisville show today. This was the J&J All-Star show. Had you guys seen the thing? Spent a lot of money today, a lot of money. Picked up some great stuff. I wanted to get stuff for grading. The reason why I spent a little bit more today than I normally do is, one, there were cards there for me to buy, of course. But two is there's not another show until he runs his next show in Louisville, and I think that's like three or four weeks away. So there won't be a whole lot of opportunities to hit shows up because unless I want to drive two and a half, three and a half hours away one way, but it really don't make sense for the smaller shows right now for me. So picked up a good bit today. A lot of stuff I haven't looked at, but we looked at to be graded. A lot of graded stuff on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different people I bought from today. Probably the most from a small show that I've purchased in a long time. I would say five plus years at the same time frame. The most I ever spent amongst all these dealers having that many. Usually when I buy in bulk, if it's a small show, it's from like two, maybe three dealers. All right, guys, you guys ready to see what I picked up here? These are going to be in no specific order. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go through it. You get behind the camera. All right, so this first lot here was just a bunch of retail stuff. And when I went to the guy's table, because uh, I'm looking just to send cheap stuff in the grade to fill the eBay store, he's like, hey, if it doesn't have a price tag on it, it's like $2 and stuff like that there. And he gave me a really, really good bulk deal on this stuff. So some of this stuff you may see next weekend on whatnot. Yes, one night only, whatnot. It'll be next Sunday. I'll put that out in another video this week for you guys. So Kenneth Walker, Prism. Patch or jersey piece. Sokan. A lot of people like this guy, so we'll see. Rookie card, rookie ticket, little jersey action from Contenders. Drake London. Then we had two Cam Thomases, red, white, and blues. Jalen Green, red, white, and blue. Sam Howe. Believe it or not, I couldn't find Sam Howe stuff today. Another Sam Howe. Kenny, this is the debut. Little Franz Wagner bronze and a Jalen Suggs pink ice. The thing is, with a lot of the retail, I just have to look at what PSA 10s are doing on to it. And I mean, if I paid, we'll just say an average of $2 a card here, you know, at $19, that's $21 in, you know, is it going to be worth more than like $30, $35 just to make a couple bucks on to and have inventory in the store? So that was the first lot. Second lot, um, gentleman with his son, they picked up uh, some stuff from the last show I was set up at. And I was walking around, I didn't even realize it was him right by the doorway because I V-lined for a couple other places first, dealers. 
Uh, son, a lot of hockey. So I've picked up a lot of young guns today that'll be going off to be graded. Hopefully, eventually we get a 10 on some of these. So first up, if you're not into hockey, you might want to fast forward about two minutes. Cider. Come on. I think it's because of my overhead light. There we go. Two Lucas Raymond young guns. Helen Buck, which I think hopefully Pittsburgh gets him for the goalie. And then little Eric Ekblad. We'll see how well those do. Like I said, that was all like stuff. I was really going just to look to find stuff to grade and to get back because I just need more stuff graded. Ooh, let's see here. What stack do we go to next? We'll go with this. This was actually the first deal I did today. A uh, gentleman that I buy from frequently, he was up at the Monster, and he told me they go, they tend this, so I didn't have to try to get a 10. So he hooked me up, gave me a real good price on a Kenny Pickett red, white, and blue prism. So this here will go into the old PC. While I was there, this was really cheaply priced. Uh, burrow, purple die cut, just for the area I'm in. People love their burrows. And finally... Justin Fields, second year, White Sparkle, PSA 10. All these were 10s across the board. He had really, really good on this. None have been sold this, maybe, I think it was a pop two, he looked it up. All it said it was like a $218 valuation or something like that. We tried to figure it out from there. But really, really good price on the lot there. Mostly I was like wanting to get the picket and I wanted to get a couple other cards from him. So we went that route there. The Sparkle's not numbered. All right, moving on, moving on. All right, we'll go to my next deal that I had there. This here is the gentleman I always go through all of his boxes. Um, he didn't have a whole lot of raw. He said somebody bought him out last show, a lot of his raw. So lucky what I did pick up. First up, who's out 35? Yep, out 35 dual. Kyle Hamilton, Sauce Gardner, dual, auto. little nice patchwork going on there. Kind of two color with them both in a way, I guess. No, one color in the bottom. I didn't realize that was part of the circle there. Guys, now I've been buying them. Christian Polisic, they're cheap. Revolution Auto. This one's the Cubic. Yeah, the Cubic out of 50. Figure what the heck, we'll grab a little Panini 2, a 3 and 2. Tatis, that looks like it looks had this little base on to it, cut out for the thing. <laughs> This really intrigued me because I didn't realize in soccer that um, Select was their stained glasses. I sat there and looked at this. And this is Phil Foden. Uh, this will go off to Graydon Land. Hopefully, I should say. Maybe get a 9 on it. I expect that when I usually buy Raws, it shows to get 9s until I really look at it. And then finally, I know, I know I'm going to hear about it. Little John Moran again, PSA 10. His stuff is just so cheap. I mean, only a 25-game suspension. I mean, eventually he's going to play again, and people are going to want to start buying him. So pick this up to 99. Uh, this is second year Aurora Morant. Walked around a little bit. Picked up uh, this lot here. This was just really cool. It was in his thing. But I gotta recase it yet. But this is a Randy Moss uh jersey piece action there from let's say plates and patches. What I thought was really cool about this, he's in Vikings uniform. And it says Titans right there. Which is kind of cool, a little bit different. It is numbered out $2.99. So pretty neat there. I guess this was after his stint with the Patriots. It has Patriots stuff on there right there. Never really realized he went down to play for the Titans. Up next, contenders ticket Alave. These are cheap. They're like anywhere from fifty to sixty-five bucks. Heard what the heck? Up next, Desmond Ritter out of ninety-nine. This is the contenders optic. Pretty nice looking. Figure we'll give it a chance. I looked at that out of the case ahead of time. Uh, we're gonna hit this. This comes from John. Uh, we always do deals back and forth. This is like one of the first times I got to buy from him. T-Law Obsidian Rookie. I know it's white napkin in the middle. I got it. But it is numbered out 35. Yeah, 35. This will be looked at to go out to be graded as well, too. Hopefully we get a 9 on that Obsidian. And not like the party where we got Nate. All right, last lot. Last lot. So... 
Like I was walking around, two people told me some guy was walking around with Eminence uh, hits, him and his son. And 502 Frank caught me. He's like, yeah, he's right back here. So I, I jetted back there because I seen what uh, 502 Frank picked up. And I was like, let me see what he got. And I said, you mind if I look? Well, lo and behold, Indy Brakes was there from Whatnot. And they were going through. And I was joking around. I said, hey, you guys want to pick up some of this stuff here for me so I can win it tonight at 50, 60%? But um, looking at it, I mean, going through his stuff, it was really nice. And I, I don't know how much I want to share this story, but to listen to how they do their breaks on FaceTime and everything like that. It, it was really, really cool. So I found a PC card and a bunch of other stuff. So you guys ready to look at this? This is the big stack of the day here. So starting off, Optic, um, Holgram, Autograph. That's out of 25. Oops. Don't know if he'll be that great or not, but people are always asking for him. For my football guys, a little Justin Jefferson action there. And this is... This is Originals. Huh. Don't know why it's in that case. Must have been somebody's buyback. A little bit of Flawless. This stuff's expensive, you guys know. Josh Giddy, Rookie Year Diamond out of 20. Going back to our obsidian, Big Ben Roethlisberger. This should be out of 10. The big part of it all, we had to figure this one out. Um, with only having a sale of a higher level, you guys now select like concourse, premier, club, field, blah, 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 blah. Kenny Pickett, orange out of 7. This is the concourse. Gonna try to pray we get a nine. <laughs> We're gonna pray for a nine, guys. If it comes back ten, woohoo. One of the bigger cards. There's gonna be have to be, I think there's two or three I gotta send in just because raw prices they're definitely over five hundred. Um maybe just send them all at nineteen and just see what happens. I get up to our son. Oh, finally. A lot of people like Allen Iverson still. I figured I'd pick this up. Crown Royal PSA nine. 17 out of 49. These guys don't grade. They get in like a lot of breaks and buybacks. And that's where the greatest stuff came from. So I figure if I had any chance anywhere of possibly getting a 10, it has to be here. Or with John's T Law, but we know Obsidian's hard. But when you start looking, like I said, when you go to show, you see a lot of grading done at somebody's table. You start wondering. With me, I tell people I'm not budging because it's going out to be great right after the show if it don't sell. You know, that's just the way I handle with doing a lot of stuff onto it. But that is it, guys. Big pickup, massive, massive stuff here today. Um, wanted to get some bigger stuff uh, for the showcases, stuff to grade, which I found. When you start getting into cards, they're like, I would say anything over 400 for me gets a little scary because then you got to start grading and praying onto it all. But lots of stuff. At least I picked up, was it one, two, three, four, five graded? Yeah, five graded cards today. Did pick up a piece of mail. I'm going to wait for some more mail to come in next week. We'll do a mail week video again. Live whatnot on Sunday. We're going to do the 4th of July special. Um, it's going to be a lot of... I'm not going to have it as singles. I might have a single or single slash lots. And I'm going to just... Instead of me listing it all, as I said before, I'm just going to throw like three to five cards up and start it all at two bucks type deal. Be some autograph memorabilia. Um, may throw some other stuff just in the buy it now just to have in there. I haven't really decided too much on to that part yet. But just to dwindle down on inventory and stuff like that here as I keep on approaching into the realm of more and more graded cards in the future. All right, guys, that is it. I appreciate you watching the video. It was a great show up there. Um, a lot of nice cards. There was a lot of people very overpriced. They knew it, and they weren't going to budge. I'm sure they didn't sell much that day unless somebody really, 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 really wanted a card. I mean, let's go buy it on eBay. It's a lot cheaper, even with sales tax. <laughs> All right, guys, I am out. I will catch you next video.